40 years have passed since the signing of the Treaty of Chagoramas on July 4, 1973, establishing the Caribbean community. On the eve of the 34th regular meeting of CARICOM, heads of government scheduled to take place in Trinidad and Tobago, Prime Minister Frondel Stewart sat down with the Barbados Government Information Service to discuss the relevance of the grouping and what he sees as the way forward. The Caribbean community is still relevant uh, to the lives of the people of the Caribbean because the world has changed significantly since uh, 1973. Um, we have seen the end of the Cold War and we have seen the coming into existence of a number of economic blocks and it would be suicidal, I think, for individual islands in the Caribbean to believe that they can face uh, so hostile a world out there as individual states rather than as a united uh, community. So uh, I, I can't see an argument against the integration of the Caribbean, the Caribbean community, 40 years after the signing of the Treaty of Chagoramas. Everything that has happened since then has justified that decision. Although many might say there is still some way to go for CARICOM, the Prime Minister emphasized that there are now many more avenues for regional interaction than there were in the past. There are many more institutions through which uh, this, the, the people of the Caribbean act as a region than at any time in this country. This, this, this region's history, I beg your pardon. And therefore, um, whether it be in health, you have a Caribbean public health agency, or in education, where we have the Caribbean Examinations Council, and uh, in the area of uh, ICT nowadays, the Caribbean Knowledge Learning Network, right through the gamut of, of, of uh, activities that touch upon the lives of the people of this region, there has been cooperative action rather than individualistic action. So I think that um, people have benefited uh, in those ways. Uh, the economies of the region are closer together than they were at any other time in, in history. I say that, of course, in spite of the fact that they were very close during the days of slavery because they all answered to one master. But um, it, the economies of the region are more integrated now than they were at any, any time in, in, in this region's recent history. Mr. Stewart is optimistic that despite the circumstances, and although there is much to be done, much has also been achieved. I can see that we have had difficulties for many years now we have been struggling with the issue of regional transportation. Now, we don't really have a regional air carrier uh, that would facilitate ease of movement across the region uh, as we would like. Liat has been there, rendered inestimable service to the people of this region, uh, connecting 21 countries in this region day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year. As I understand it, a thousand flights per week. But if that is happening, that comes at a price because there are not many larger carriers who will want to do the work that Liat is doing. And I think that CARICOM has done very, very well over the last 40 years. We are going to have other mountains to climb. We are going to have other rough paths to make smooth, have other crooked paths to make straight. But let us begin by recognizing that we have done very well as a, a, a region, limited in, in, in its resources. Uh, uh, we've not had our resources develop nearly to the point where we could call ourselves uh, a rich uh, region. But we've done well in spite of that.
Prime Minister of Barbados, the Honorable Frundel Stewart, speaking about the Caribbean community, which celebrates 40 years of existence this year.